What's up guys, Flurpolder here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Skybounds video. Now, today, don't really have much planned, I just kind of really want to work towards this one challenge. Not sure how much we can do, and then besides that, I kind of want to work towards this challenge, I don't know if I can do that. Um, and then there's this challenge, which I can work towards as well, but I don't know if I'll actually 100% be able to. Also, I want to say, I've had an eventful night. Fought two bosses, uh, one of them I kind of got like 300 damage on, I came in last minute and, uh, clutch, not really clutch, but got some damage in and got, like, last place for it. Then I fought another one with some dudes, got second place, sold! The boss crystal that I got from that one for like 13.3 million stars, so that's why I'm so rich. There's been a couple changes on my island, which I'm going to go into before we officially get into this challenge, actually. But, if you guys enjoy this video and want to see some more Skybounds on the channel, make sure to smash that like button. So first of all, you'll notice down below here, it's a little bit darker. That is because I actually through some blocks there and uh, it uh, makes this work a lot more efficiently. You'll notice my creeper spawner which I originally put up there is down here right now. That is because I'm trying to AFK and get some more creeper spawners from it. Hoping it'll work. It's a small chance but hey you know what it could happen. I think that's actually pretty much it. The only other thing is I have some horses over here just kind of hanging out and some in here that I'm waiting to grow up but I think I have to AFK in this area and then what I want to do is tame them and uh, that'll be it. I'll be able to uh, beat this challenge I have because I believe I've tamed... wait a minute. I should have two tamed, but what we're going to do is grab up all the TNT we have. I don't believe I have enough TNT here, though, but they did add a brand new update, which I'm going to eventually be doing a video on. I'll probably look a bit into it in this video as well. You are able to buy TNT now, so I need a full inventory of this, but I want to see how much it's going to cost. 64000 it would be a lot of stars. So, instead of doing that, we're going to actually use some sand and a shovel. Alright, so we're gonna grab out our shovel here, our beautiful beta shovel, which has, um, which has auto smelt on it. We need some sand here. Uh, I don't know if I actually have any other sand. Actually, I kind of want to get a shovel without auto smelt. Because it's gonna turn a lot of this into glass, and I just can't be bothered to do that, to be honest. I'd much rather see, um, do I have a good shovel that I can use that doesn't have auto smelt on it? I could always try removing auto smelt and then doing it. What's this? Efficiency 5. I mean, it's the same, honestly, either way. It's one level less, which doesn't really matter to me. So I'm going to use this one instead. Let's just start, uh, building some sand up. We'll break this down and then we'll, um, might as well use treasure while we're at it. And we'll try to get our beautiful, beautiful, uh, TNT that we need. Okay, I'm gonna just do it right here. Alright. And we're gonna use treasure on our way down. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Listen to those dings. Hopefully we can get a lot of TNT. I actually don't know if I'll have enough for this, to be honest. Might not be able to get enough TNT, which is gonna be a bit of a grind. I actually, what am I, what am I talking about? I can just make TNT. Oh my, I have a... I have a creeper grinder for a reason. Did I get anything good? I mean, I got I got a decent amount of stuff. Alright, so we did get some more sand at least. Let's go down here and let's grab up a lot of this. As you can see, it's been it has been just working for me. Oh my god. And so is my th this. This is getting me a lot more dust than it was before, which is amazing. Mm, I don't know what to do, because it's gonna cost me a lot of stars to buy it, I believe. If I did my math correctly, it is at least. Okay, so I rechecked my math. I definitely did it wrong. It'll only really cost me about 2 million stars. So I guess it's not that bad. Can I sell sand? Is that an option? Apparently it is. It's gonna be a lot, but can I just like... I can't do that. Oh my god. Do I have to? I don't have enough. Uh, so I need... You know what? Just do this. I just uh, bought a lot. That's two million- what? No inventory space. Are you serious? Oh, that's so dumb. So dumb. There we go. 
Done! Oh my god, that's two million worth of TNT! That's insane! Spend five million or more stars in a single transaction. Oh boy, let's see what we can buy in the auction house for five million stars. I mean, I could buy a spawner. It's the only thing I can really think of. But do I want to? Honestly, why not? I mean, it, it'll it'll be some stars gone, but it'll be this challenge completed and, and an, or an Enderman, so challenge complete. Oh god, it hurts so much. Obtain. Oh, well, that's easy. All right, we're just going to kind of blow through some of these challenges. Which one of these has evasion? This one does. Challenge complete. Make sure I don't lose that. That would uh, not be fun. All right, what's our next challenge? It is obtain player level 100 using XP from mobs and ores. Oh, that's easy. Let me go ahead, quickly install this uh, beautiful, beautiful thing here. Castle, and we can actually just do this in literally a matter of seconds because I actually have a bottle of item, or uh, enchant XP, and we're 160. What's our next challenge? Purchase a personal vault. How much is it for a personal vault? 100,000? Cool, whatever. I don't even care. I got another one in here that I got from Cat. Uh, Soulbound, an item using a soul stone. I think I have one. I do have one in here. And to be honest, I want to soulbind my axe. I haven't done that yet. Let me see. Let me grab up some dust first of all. I think that'll be it. I waste a bit. That's fine. Challenge complete. And my axe is soulbound, which is perfectly good for me because I actually needed it soulbind in case I die and lose it. That would suck. All right. What is the next one? Discover 10 emerald blocks from meteor crates in the mining world. That's going to be a challenge for another day. We have wasted so much stars this episode. Ugh. But I do want to look into the new update real quick because it is pretty cool. I'm not going to be doing anything about it currently, but we're going to go to the sorcerer who I think is this way. To the wizard then. My bad. I went to the wrong person and I wasted a lot of XP, which feels real bad to be honest. But uh, I can grind it back up if I need to. And half of that will be like, I don't know. Actually, I really don't know. So we go to him, and it says to uh, initiate the quest. Right-click the special beacon. There's there's no special beacon. Oh, wait. This. All right, my bad. Ah, I see you found my prized possession. This, my friend, uh, is what you call an aura beacon. Took me 10 years of learning wizardy to learn how to make one of these. What does it do? Why it gives you amazing powers. Oh my god, there's so much talking. Let me catch up real quick. Yeah, what does it do? It gives you amazing powers. You could go forever without hunger, run at fast, uh, at super fast speeds, even mine fast. The possibilities are endless. You want one? Hmm, I guess I could part with one. You're going to have to earn it though. The aura beacon has to be charged with eternal shards. They're hidden, or elemental shards, my bad, not eternal shards, <laughs> that would be insane. They're hidden all over the world. Are you up for the task? Click here to begin the aura elemental shard challenge. So I'm not going to be doing this quite yet. So what you need to do though is trade a witch spawn egg to the wizard for the ability to buy aura beacons, then purchase the beacon from the wizard. All right, we can work on some of this. Why not? Uh, let me go to my island. There is a point where I'm going to have to stop the challenge though, unfortunately, and call it quits because there's a point where I won't be able to do the rest of it. At least, well, I could. But I don't know if I want to do it tonight. That's the thing. Let me see if I can turn it in from here. Let's do that. And let me see. Did it work? Yes. Okay. Locate your first elemental shard and use the aura beacon on it. Okay. So do I need to actually buy it from him? I do. There we go. We got our aura beacon. So we actually need to find... This is the part where I gotta kind of quit, which sucks, because we have to go into the war zone to find the uh, elemental shards, which I have no idea where they are. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this video here. I'll do this eventually, but to be honest, I think I've done enough for this video. I will get into the update further on in a later video, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have remember to smash that like button i have a very special skybounds video 
coming up very soon. You won't want to miss it. It's going to be epic. But make sure you also subscribe if you're new to the channel and click that notification bell to so notified every time I do upload or to the channel that you become a part of the Flirp fam and check out my Twitter and Discord down in the description below. Come hang out, chat, get updates, and other cool stuff like that. I will see you guys in the next video or stream. Goodbye.